actually really enjoy it. And, you know, it's a great fallback plan if I ever decide that I need another job and there's something I can do on the side. And who knows, maybe one day I can get a plane and go wherever I want to travel the world. Colby isn't alone. The Wall Street Journal reported that U.S. airlines are facing a serious pilot shortage. Higher experience requirements and retirements of current pilots are to blame for the shortage. We have a lot of uh, airline pilots who are retiring and because of you know, flight training and getting those hours that the airlines need and FAA requires to fly for a major airline, it's so expensive. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot of pilots in the pipeline coming through. So it's good for guys who are already have their commercial licenses and have the hours. I mean, the jobs are going to be there. If you want to become a commercial pilot, you must have 250 hours of flight time. There is now talk of new federal mandates that would require a total of 1,500 hours to become a commercial pilot. That is six times the current requirement. But with this abundance of available jobs, the extra flight time may be worth it. If I didn't have another job, I'd definitely, I mean, I could train people to fly. I could, once that, I started doing that, I could get enough hours to become a commercial pilot. It could be definitely a backup job.